In the realm of psychology, Carl Jung's concept of the shadow is a powerful and transformative idea that delves into the depths of the human psyche shadow work, is a process of self-exploration and introspection aimed at understanding and integrating the hidden aspects of our personality in this video we will embark on a journey through the intricacies of shadow work according to Carl Jung exploring them. Various stages and techniques involved in mastering this profound and transformative practice, understanding the shadow to embark on the transformative journey of shadow work. Let's first delve into the foundational concept of the shadow as elucidated by Carl Jung. The shadow in Yan psychology is the repository of unconscious and repressed aspects of the individual's personality it encompasses. Thoughts, emotions, desires, and traits that have been relegated to the depths of the psyche due to societal conditioning, moral judgments, or personal personal disapproval. The shadow is not inherently negative, rather it represents the untapped potential and unexpressed facets of the self by Acknowledging the existence of the shadow individuals can initiate a process of self-discovery and personal growth, however, this recognition requires a departure from conventional notions of good and evil, as the shadow is either inherently virtuous nor malevolent instead. It embodies the complexity and multifaceted nature of human consciousness. One key aspect of understanding this shadow is recognizing its roots in the unconscious mind. Jung argued that the unconscious influences our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in ways that are not immediately apparent, the shadow being a product of the unconscious exerts a profound impact on our lives, shaping our reactions, relationships, and life choices by bringing the shadow into conscious awareness. Individuals gain the ability to explore and navigate the hidden recesses of their psyches. The shadow often manifests in projections, where individuals unconsciously attribute their own disowned qualities to others. For example, a person who suppresses feelings of anger may project this emotion onto someone else perceiving them as overly aggressive understanding. The shadow involves recognizing these projections as mirrors that reflect aspects of the self that require exploration and integration by turning inward and ex-examining these projections. Individuals can unravel the layers of the shadow and unearth valuable insights into their own psyche. Moreover, the shadow is not a stagnant entity, but a dynamic and evolving aspect of the self. As individuals grow and undergo various life experiences, new elements may be added to the shadow these can. Include unacknowledged talents, unexpressed passions, or aspects of the self that were suppressed. Due to societal expectations in the process, see of understanding the shadow individuals often confront uncomfortable truths about themselves. This can be a challenging but essential aspect of the journey. Young emphasized the importance of embracing the shadow with compassion rather than judgment self. Compassion allows individuals to navigate the depths of their psyche without succumbing to shame or Guilt the understanding that the shadow is not a repository of flaws, but a reservoir of potential fosters, a more constructive and empowering approach to the process of self-discovery types of karma in shadow work in the context of shadow work Carl Jung's exploration of karma, takes on a psychological dimension rather than adhering to the traditional Eastern philosophical concept of cosmic cause and affect Jung's understanding of karma in the context of the psyche, refers to the consequences of unconscious actions and repressed emotions that influence an individual's life experiences. By delving into the various types of karma involved in shadow work, individuals can gain insights into recurring. Patterns break free from destructive cycles and facilitate profound personal growth. Personal karma encompasses the individual's own actions, choices, and behaviors that have consequences on their psychological well-being in the realm of shadow work personal karma, involves examining one's past actions and their impact on the present. This includes exploring instances of self-sabotage, destructive habits or harmful patterns of behavior that may be rooted in unconscious elements of the shadow by 
Recognizing and addressing personal karma individuals can take conscious steps towards breaking free from self-imposed limitations and fostering positive change. Interpersonal karma extends the concept of personal karma to relationships and social interactions. It involves examining the patterns that emerge in relationships, whether they be romantic, familial, or platonic unresolved aspects of the shadow can. Manifest in repeated conflicts, challenges or difficulties in forming healthy connections with other shadow work encourages individuals to explore how their unconscious beliefs and behaviors contribute to interpersonal dynamics, fostering a deeper understanding of the self and promoting more. Fulfilling relationships, ancestral karma delves into the idea that unconscious patterns and unresolved issues can be inherited from one's ancestors. Jung believed that the EXP experiences and traumas of previous generations could leave an imprint on the collective unconscious influencing the psyche of subsequent generations in shadow work individuals explore their ancestral lineage to identify and address patterns that may have been passed down through generations by recognizing and healing ancestral karma. Individuals can break free from intergenerational cycles and create a positive impact on their own lives and the lives of future generations. Cultural and societal karma involves the collective influences and expectations that shape individual behavior and beliefs. Society often imposes norms and values that individuals internalize, leading to the suppression of certain aspects of the shadow shadow work in this context requires a critical examination of cultural conditioning and societal expectations by questioning and challenging societal norms. Individuals can liberate themselves from the constraints of cultural karma and embrace a more authentic and self-determined path. Archetypal karma explores that influence of universal symbols and archetypes on the individual psyche archetypes according to Yoon Airy. Universal patterns that reside in the collective unconscious and shape human experiences in shadow work individuals may encounter archetypal figures in dreams, fantasies, or visions that offer insights into the deeper layers of the psyche exploring archetypal karma involves understanding how these Universal patterns impact personal development, providing a richer tapestry for the integration of the shadow. Inviting the shadow into your life, the process of inviting the shadow into one's life is a pivotal and courageous step in the transformative journey of shadow work. It requires a conscious and deliberate willingness to explore the depths of the unconscious acknowledging and embracing aspects of the self that have long been relegated to the shadows this invitation is not a passive acceptance of the status quo but an active and intentional engagement with the hidden facets of one's psyche understanding the significance of inviting the shadow is crucial for embarking on a journey of self-discovery personal growth and ultimately integration the journey of shadow work begins with cultivating awareness an intentional and mindful exploration of the various layers of one's consciousness, cultivating awareness, involves developing a keen sense of observation, turning attention into inward to explore the thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that often operate below the surface of conscious awareness. This practice requires a commitment to self-reflection and a genuine curiosity about the intricacies of the psyche. Incorporating moments of daily reflection into one's routine fosters ongoing awareness, taking time to review the events of the day, noting emotional responses, and identifying patterns and thoughts and behaviors enhances self-awareness. Regular reflection provides, provides valuable insights into the workings of the mind and offers a starting point for inviting the shadow into conscious awareness. Facing discomfort and resistance, inviting the shadow into one's life necessitates a willingness to face. Discomfort and resistance, head on the shadow often harbors aspects that have been relegated to the unconscious precisely because they evoke discomfort or are deemed socially unacceptable shadow work, requires a courageous exploration of uncomfortable emotions such as fear, shame, anger, or sadness. Facing uncomfortable emotions is a crucial aspect of acknowledging the shadow's presence. 
Discomfort and resistance may be rooted in repressed memories or past trauma shadow work involves a willingness to unearth these memories and examine them with a compassionate and non-judgmental attitude. This process enables individuals to integrate fragmented aspects of their past contributing to a more cohesive and authentic sense of self. The shadow often holds limiting beliefs that shape one's self-perception and worldview facing discomfort requires challenging these limiting beliefs, questioning their validity and exploring alternative perspectives. This process involves stepping outside of established comfort zones and embracing a more expansive understanding of oneself, acknowledging and integrating the shadow once the invitation to explore the shadow has been extended the subsequent process of acknowledging and integrating the shadow it involves a deliberate and conscious engagement with the contents of the unconscious through the use of imagination and visualization during active imagination individuals intentionally focus their attention on the images thoughts and emotions that emerge from the depths of the psyche the process typically begins by relaxing the mind and entering a meditative or contemplative state in this state Individuals allow their minds to wander freely observing the spontaneous images and thoughts that arise. The key is to actively participate in these mental images rather than passively observing them. Active imagination often leads to encounters with symbolic representations that may include figures, landscapes, or scenarios. These symbols hold significance and are considered manifestations of unconscious content Engaging with these symbols in a purposeful manner allows individuals to explore the messages and insights encoded within the shadow through active imagination. Individuals can establish a direct and dynamic dialogue with the shadow by actively engaging with the symbolic representations. They facilitate a bridge between the conscious and Unconscious aspects of the psyche, this intentional exploration contributes to the integration of unconscious material into conscious awareness, fostering a more comprehensive understanding of the self-cultivating self-compassion is a crucial aspect of the journey toward acknowledging and integrating. The shadow it involves developing a kind and understanding relationship ship with oneself, particularly when confronted with the challenging and uncomfortable aspects on or during the shadow work process, cultivating self-compassion begins with adopting a non-judgmental attitude towards one's thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Rather than harsh self-criticism, individuals approach themselves with curiosity and acceptance, recognizing that the shadow represents unmet needs and unexplored facets of them. Self-self-compassion involves acknowledging and embracing imperfection individuals. Recognize that the shadow is not a reflection of personal failure, but an inherent aspect of the human experience embracing imperfection fosters a compassionate response to the complexities encountered during the shadow work journey, visualizing and resolving the shadow as individuals progress in their shadow work. Journey the stages of visualizing and resolving the shadow come to the forefront informed by current theories. This phase of shadow work taps into the, the power of the mind and the symbolism inherent in the unconscious to bring about transformative healing and integration creative visualization begins. With the cultivation of a vivid and detailed mental image, individuals utilize their imagination to create an inner landscape where they can encounter symbolic representations of the shadow. This imaginative exploration provides a platform for conscious interaction with unconscious material. This conscious focus shapes the trajectory of the visualization, allowing for a targeted exploration of the shadow. Creative visualization often leads to the identification of unresolved conflicts, unhealed wounds, or persistent tensions within the shadow these elements may be represented through symbolic images, scenarios, or interactions. Recognizing these unresolved aspects is a crucial step in the symbolic resolution process. Inner alchemy utilizes symbolic imagery to represent the transformative process within the site. This may include visualizing the symbolic stages of alchemy, such as dissolution, purification, and coagulation.
As metaphors for the psychological transformation of the shadow, each stage represents a different aspect of the integration journey. These visualizations symbolize the transformative journey of the shadow, where unconscious elements undergo a process of refinement and integration, expression, and surrender in shadow work as individuals PRS through the multifaceted journey of shadow work that Stages of expression and surrender emerge as crucial components creative expression in the context of shadow work involves utilizing various artistic and expressive outlets to bring unconscious material into conscious awareness. Creative expression serves as a channel for exploring and expressing complex emotions associated with the shadow through the use of color form movement or sound individuals can externalize and process emotional experiences that may be difficult to verbalize this emotional exploration contributes to a more holistic understanding of the shadow surrendering to the creative process is an integral aspect of shadow work emphasizing a willingness to let go of preconceived notions expectations and judgments surrendering to the process involves cultivating an openness to them messages and symbols emerging from the unconscious the surrendering process includes adopting a non-attachment to the outcome of the creative expression. Rather than focusing solely on the end result, individuals shift their attention to the present moment of creation focus on the feeling Carl Jung. Asserted that understanding and integrating the shadow necessitate a deep exploration of emotions and feelings that may have been repressed, overlooked, or misunderstood Focusing on the feeling begins with a mindful awareness of emotions. As they arise, this involves paying close attention to the nuances of emotion experiences without immediately seeking to categorize, judge, or suppress them mindful. Awareness allows individuals to be fully present with their emotions, creating a foundation for a more profound understanding of the inner landscape the next step is the identification and naming of emotions. This process involves discerning the specific emotions at play, whether they are joy, sadness, anger, fear, or a more complex interplay of feelings, by clearly identifying and labeling emotions. Individuals gain greater clarity about the underlying dynamics of their internal experiences, focusing on the feeling entails exploring the triggers that evoke specific emotional responses these triggers may be rooted in past experiences, unresolved traumas, or patterns ingrained in the unconscious by examining the roots of emotional reactions. Individuals uncover valuable insights into the shadow aspects. Associated with particular feelings, a crucial element of focusing on the feeling is cultivating a non-judgmental stance toward emotions. Instead of labeling emotions as good or bad individuals, approach them with curiosity and acceptance letting the feeling be letting the feeling being be is a complementary aspect of the shadow work process that involves allowing emotions to unfold without immediate attempts to control suppress or manipulate them this step encourages a sense of receptivity and acceptance enabling individuals to witness and experience their emotions fully letting the feeling be requires a practice of radical acceptance and unconditional acknowledgement of emotions without resistance. It involves embracing the reality of the present emotional experience without attempting to change or deny it. Radical acceptance fosters an attitude of openness and surrender to the flow of Emotions, emotions often carry an innate need for expression. Letting the feeling be involves allowing emotions to express themselves naturally. Whether through tears, laughter, or other forms of emotional release, this authentic expression facilitates the processing of emotions and contributes to a sense of emotional well-being. The silent witness, the concept of the silent witness, is derived from mindfulness, practices, and plays a pivotal role in the process of shadow work the silent witness is an inner observer, a detached and non-judgmental aspect of the self that can witness thoughts, thought emotions and experiences without becoming entangled in them. The silent witness involves cultivating an inner observer consciousness. This inner presence remains detached from the fluctuations of thoughts and emotions providing a vantage point from which individuals can witness the activities of the mind 
without getting lost in them, cultivating the silent witness enhances self-awareness and supports the exploration of the shadow, the silent witness is particularly useful in observing thought patterns. Associated with shadow elements by stepping back and observing the stream of thoughts without. Judgment individuals gain insight into the narratives and beliefs that may be influencing their behavior. This detached observation serves as a valuable tool for unraveling the complexities of the shadow. The silent witness transcends the egoic identification with the self. It is a higher order aspect of consciousness that stands apart from the ego's narratives and self-definitions by accessing this Transcendent perspective individuals can disentangle themselves from ego-driven reactions, fostering a more liberated and expansive experience of the self-unlocking authenticity. Mastering Yumi and shadow work is a transformative journey encompassing practices like active imagination, creative expression, and self-compassion. It involves understanding, acknowledging, and integrating the shadow embracing. Archetypal imagery, and engaging in symbolic resolutions by surrendering to the creative process and letting go of control individuals navigate the complexities of their inner world, achieving a harmonious integration of the unconscious this journey, symbolically in inner alchemy, unlocks a profound sense of authenticity and personal growth, ultimately leading to freedom through integration.